Did you know that there was a lost media Sanrio character? This is Loli, a gothic rabbit character from Sanrio inspired by Japanese fashion. But what happened to her and why is she impossible to find? And while she's gained a lot of popularity on the internet lately from people claiming that she is an underrated Sanrio character, there's actually a lot more to this. Sanrio fans found her after a post on the Lost Media subreddit, recalling a gothic Victorian style rabbit Sanrio character, occasionally paired with the line, think of me when you're lonely, think of me when you're blue, accompanied with images of Loli, which were eventually picked up and spread around as an underrated Sanrio character. And of course with her design featuring so many cute elements that kind of resemble something you'd see on an elegant gothic Lolita, while also encapsulating the 2010s with that classic style like Monster High or Ruby Gloom. She instantly went viral as an underrated Sanrio character. And since there are so many Sanrio characters that don't have very much merch or very much representation in the brand at all, it was very believable. Usahana plushies are frequently overpriced because they made so little merch of her, especially outside of Japan. But when going further in depth looking for the origins of this lost character, it becomes clear that she was never featured in anything Sanrio at all. While one could argue that she's been lost to time, it's clear that she came around much later than characters like Hello Kitty or Peckle, who for those who don't know was the first Sanrio Rio character to ever be created. Given that she was based off of elegant gothic Lolita subculture that was spearheaded by Manasama in the late 90s, and also just looking at her art style, it's clear that she's a character from the early 2000s. But if she was made in the early 2000s, there would probably be more evidence of her existence on Sanrio's behalf. Most Sanrio characters are also part of some sort of cinematic universe, so they often have animes based on them, or mangas, or movies. While I would love to see a lowly based anime, if there was such a thing I would not be making a video about her being lost media. There's also no information on who created her, if she was made by a past creator for Sanrio, or anything like that. Although in true Sanrio style, she does have some quirky caricatures. For example, she comes off as kind of aloof, but wants to comfort the lonely. And she loves tea, which is very on brand for her aristocratic image. Otherwise, we don't really know much else about her, including her country of origin or what day she was born, which is very important to all Sanrio characters. Even short-time collaboration characters like Yoshikiri or Adoro Satoru Mary have been included on official Sanrio websites and in pictures with other Sanrio characters. So while one could assume that she was never released, that doesn't make sense as to why there are so many photos of her floating around the internet. One of those places is the Line Store, which is a place where you can buy wallpapers and stickers for your Line app, which is a messaging app. In fact, they actually have their own group of characters called Line Friends, with their most successful characters being Beachy 20 which are Line Friends characters that were each designed by different members of boy band BTS as a collaborative effort. An entity called Zusik uploaded a wallpaper of Loli to the Line store. It's unknown whether this is an entity or a company, but the account originates from Thailand and it looks as if the images of Loli can actually be traced back to them. Zuzik also has other original characters, but none are quite as striking as our girl Loli. She possesses a sort of charm that is very unique and rare. And if we go to Zuzik Facebook account, we can also see pop-up stores being stocked with stuff that has Loli's face on it. Which is actually really cool, although I do wish it existed outside of Thailand. Regardless, this enigmatic bunny is absolutely captivating. And I'm glad that she hasn't been lost forever. In fact, she has gained quite a fandom as of recently. But I think in order for this character to gain more mainstream notoriety, it's really important that people know where she actually comes from. In fact, while researching this video, I actually had a very hard time finding any information on her, which is so unfortunate. Even when I searched her name on Google, I had trouble finding conclusive results and had to put in Loli Sanrio to find any real information. Knowing that she is not an official Sanrio character also makes sense for her name because her name can be crossed with a lot of other names, whereas Sanrio characters tend to have names that are very hard to confuse for anything else. Not to say that her name doesn't fit her because it suits her incredibly. However, it just doesn't sound as much like a Sanrio name. Regardless of her origin, I think she is one of the most adorable characters there is. I really love and identify with her style, and I hope to see way more of her in the future. So Loli is not an underrated Sanrio character. She's not even a Sanrio character. But if you're looking for a Sanrio character with a similar style, there's of course Low Romantic and this special J Fashion inspired Kudomi and My Melody. Let me know if you knew the truth behind Loli's origins in the comments below.